Hi guys, Glader here. So today I'm here with another Spyro in Unity 3D VR Chat update. This is going to be using Glader Spyro Tools, which is a free open source tool for Unity to bring in Spyro stuff. You don't need any modeling software or anything. And the link's going to be in the description of that. There's also going to be a link to the playlist. This is a whole series, so you should probably watch from the beginning if you're new. And there's also going to be a link to a build where you can download the Summer Forest and fly around if you feel like it. So today's going to be a little bit of a technical video that's going to discuss a topic called MIT mapping, which is kind of important, and why it wasn't possible to achieve before, but we can now MIT map textures uh, in this project. So the issue with MIT mapping is these harsh tile edges and seams. It might be very hard to see in video, but if I change the resolution, it becomes an even bigger problem. You can see that when you move around, these tiles, they jitter around. You can see cracks, and it just looks not good. Hopefully this is showing up in the video. And so, let me unmaximize this. So to visualize what's happening with this MIT map texture, I created a test texture that'll better highlight what's going on. Almost like a debug mode. And you can see that these edges are a significant problem. Everything else seems to blend in smoothly, but the edges, which is a discontinuity, is just not working. And so the automatic MIT mapping that Unity or DirectX or OpenGL, or however it's actually implemented, I'm not positive, it's not going to work. And so what I've done is I've done a little research on how to address this issue and Nothing I could find worked exactly, but I did find that you can specify essentially you can essentially specify MIT mapping levels. And so what I've done is I've basically made the MIT mapping instead of the way that it's usually done, which accounts for a lot of other things. So this isn't great. This isn't a great perfect solution. But the way that I do it is by camera distance from the surface. So if we go ahead and save that, you'll actually see now that things are a bit different and then as you move away things turn red and the brighter the red the higher the mid mapping level so it's like a little debug view that I've got going on it's kinda cool and you'll notice that these seams even at low resolution with no AA are completely gone I mean this the texture seams themselves are not but they don't cause jitters they don't cause lines and you still get mid mapping which is what that red that you're seeing pop up if we switch away from the debug texture We'll have actual MIT maps now, which looks pretty good. We don't have that issue now, so now we can have MIT maps. And I guess I'll talk a little bit about the reason that you want MIT maps is because things that are far away, you don't want to sample the highest resolution version of a texture if possible. You want to sample something very small, especially something so far away that only takes up a couple pixels. And so that's essentially MIT mapping. That's like the quick overview. You generate lower resolution versions of the texture to be sampled at far away distances. And so yeah, now we can now support MIT mapping. This is done in the shader. I haven't touched the UVs or anything, although uh, UVs addressing it at the UV level might also uh, result in something, but I'm not sure. I think this is an issue with atlasing and tiles like this. So yeah, MIT mapping is now possible. Um, Probably, <laughs> probably not as interesting as last video. This, the last video really, really set up a high bar for the sort of quality of the next video, and there's no way I can match that. If you haven't seen the last video, go check it out. It's about HD textures, and it's probably one of the best videos in the series. But that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope to see you in the future, and hopefully, mid mapping is. I made it a little bit interesting with this video. <laughs> it's not a super interesting topic, but thanks for watching anyway.